Hi, I am Dan Reddy Ellis from Edinburgh and AP University. Now, the longitudinal resonance method is a commonly used way of assessing the stiffness of pieces of wood. And for normal lengths of timber, the resonant frequency is usually quite clear. In fact, we can often see multiple evenly spaced harmonics. But for recovered wood, the pieces are quite short, and that causes often the method to go a bit, well, wobbly. No matter how careful we are with making the measurements, other modes get in the way. Flexural modes about the major and minor axis and the torsional twisting mode can obscure the longitudinal frequency, and sometimes the longitudinal mode is quite hard to excite at all. The good news is that there are published theoretical equations that allow us to calculate stiffness also from these other modes, and using a combination allows us to get a better grip on what the stiffness actually is. The key thing though is to make sure that you're using the right equations. Because of the relatively low shear modulus of wood, the equations for isotropic materials don't work well, especially for the flexural mode about the major axis and for the higher order modes. 